please. She paid $40 for this and it sold in 10 days for. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low, hopefully, and sell high. Um, I'm gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are members of my YouTube channel, my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. If you would like to join, there is a join button down below. Level two gets you in a video just like this. All right, we are going to get started. So the first item comes from Laureen's Used Books and Things, and this is her um, eBay store. And she has, I think, a brick and mortar bookstore because I'm guessing that by the first bolo that I'm going to share with you. So we're going to talk about that. Um, it says that she sold this book, Sunset of the Western Church by Ellis Schofield, uh, 1988 paperback. And it says owns used bookstore. People sell her books or they trade her books. And she ended up paying $15 for this and sold it for $125. But what I love is it's a paperback. Who would have guessed? I mean, it's just like, look everything up, right? Just crazy. All right. The next item she sold is this Tom T. Miller print. She said it was in a frame and she took it out to make it easier to ship. It is a Sugar Creek, Ohio artist, Lancaster Amish farm scene, 71 out of a thousand. She got this at a Goodwill for $11.99 and sold it for $64.95. The next item is I love because it's a toy. It's Vintage Mark's Little Hostess Avocado Green Kitchen. It's dollhouse furniture. Is this not stinking adorable? Oh my goodness. I've never seen this set and it is so cute. Look at all the food. That's fantastic. All right, so she said that she got it at the Goodwill and she said the prices are kind of high at her Goodwill, but she finds a lot of amazing stuff, um, a lot of Bolo items. The food was $14.99 and the furniture was $19.99 and she took a best offer of $140 plus shipping for this. One Stop Shop 59 uh, no YouTube channel, just an eBay store down below. You can check out the link and we're going to look through some of the first page here of their items and some great stuff. Lots of variety again. And she sold this Insco, the Beatles, Paul McCarthy figurine uh, music box. And she got this in a box lot from an estate sale and sold it for $120.61 plus shipping. The next item, she said she took a best offer because it was big and bulky and she just wanted to get it gone. Um, so vintage wooden hunting shadow box, coat hanger, glass hunting duck rabbit. So those are the key words. She got it for free and took a best offer of $100 plus shipping. The next item is this mug. It is a Coca Pelli stoneware uh, Southwestern design by Mara Mug. And it is signed, and that's what it looks like on the bottom. She got this at the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold it for $30.42 plus shipping. The next item comes from Zef Eclectics, and here is the store. No YouTube channel, but definitely check out their eBay store. She does this with her two sons. So it's kind of like a family thing that they're doing and they are participating and helping out. If you missed last month's video, I tell you a little more about that. So definitely check that out. Um, oops, here we go. All right, so I like this one. Uh, she got these brawls at the Goodwill Benz and she ended up lotting three brawls together and selling them for $60. Um, the bins, if you don't know, it's by weight. So not a whole lot of weight in brawls. Uh, so probably had a couple bucks in those. So great turnaround there. This pioneer 25 disc CD changer file type multi CD player tested and working. Um, she got this at the Goodwill for $7 and sold it for a best offer of 110 
and um, she had a sale set to come on and it sold before the sale kicked in. Uh, she had another item and it was on Mercari. So I could not find the link. I have a screenshot. I will try to remember to pop it up over here. Um, but it is um, a dollhouse and it is a Play School 1991 dollhouse that she sold for $95 plus shipping on Mercari. All right, Mindful Recycle Terry. Talk about a big money bolo finder. This woman, I'm telling you, she is amazing. I just cannot even believe the stuff she finds. Now, she sources primarily at estate sales and she will pay up for her items, but the stuff she finds, go watch her what sold videos. You will just be like jaw, they're jaw dropping. That's what we're going to call them, jaw dropping bolos. <laughs> She's amazing. So check her out. Um, let's see what she sold here. Here's an example. Um, flat iron building department 56 Christmas in the city series. She went to an estate sale and bought a whole bunch of these. She paid $40 for this and it sold in 10 days for $575 plus shipping. <laughs> Is that amazing or what? I'm telling you, go check her out. This is four parts and not working. Sony Walkman Professional WMD6 with case, parts or repair. Estate sale. Paid $8 and sold it for a best offer of $300. Free shipping on that one. This toaster. It is a vintage Sunbeam toaster. Radiant control automatic drop. Works great. She got this for $15 at an estate sale and she sold it for $149 plus shipping. So um, she's got a video right here that shows you how it works, which is a great idea. eBay now has that feature that you can do that. I think it takes about 48 hours to approve it. I don't know if it's still taking that long. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'm still putting mine in the description and connecting them to my reseller testing Bolo Products YouTube channel that I'm trying to grow. So if you want to check out that channel, I have it linked down below. All right, Ray Nathan RZ09. And this is her eBay store and lots of cool stuff. So definitely check it out. We got a scream mask. If you don't know, these are a big money bolo. Some of them can go for three, four, or five hundred dollars, depending on which mask it is, which year it was made, what it says under the chin. But if you see one of these, definitely grab it and then research. Um, some of them go for bread and butter, but most of most of them are big money. So, uh, but there are like generic scream masks. So don't mix them up. Do your homework. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Disney Pixar monsters. This is a plush figure, and he is so cute. Look at him. I definitely would have picked him up. Um, let's see. She got this for two dollars and ninety nine cents. I'm not sure where, but it sold in twenty four hours for fifty nine ninety nine plus shipping. This was her daughter's. These were items that she bought for her daughter when she was younger and her daughter hung on to them and now she is selling them and making a nice profit. This one even has um, the legs are loose, the elastic, and it still sold for $99 and 99 cents plus shipping. So some of those Monster High dolls can definitely be a bolo. This um, she sold on Etsy. It's a Yankee Candle Bony Bunch Pumpkin Witch on a Broom. And she got this for $2.99 at a thrift store. And she sold this for $47. Um, it does say that it is, the shoe is broken off. See last photo. Um, let's see. Let's look at the photos here. You can't really tell in the main picture. Shoe is broken off. I can't tell. Huh. Oh, there we go right here. So it even has a defect and sold for $47. All right. Lombardi Limited. He is our postcard guy. He also sells some other miscellaneous items like mugs, hats, plush, but mostly uh, ephemera, postcards. And he sold this first postcard. So what he did is he bought a huge lot of postcards. So he's got like pennies in these. And um, he is not afraid to take a best offer. So if you check out his store, and you see something you would like, definitely make an offer. This one sold for $32.95. So I just did a video 
not too long ago on postcards, postcards to Bolo for, um, definitely check that out because some of the information in that video is kind of surprising when I was doing research on it. So definitely, uh, some of them can go for hundreds of dollars. This one's from 1909 and it is a, um, camp over 10 postcard. And he sold it. Yeah. 3295 on that one. This one is Hawaiian queen. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, from the 1900s. How cool is that? And that one sold for $28.95. And this one right here is just kind of basic. Hopkinton, Massachusetts. I think MA is Massachusetts. It's been a while since I learned my state's abbreviations. Uh, 1912 pennant. The scenery is fine here. Posted date card. $28.95 on that one. All right, the next items come from a little bluebird. Again, really just awesome store. Check out her other items that she has listed, and we are gonna see um, what she sold here. She also sells on Mercari. All right, she sold this little doll craft 1970s Easter lamb wind up music box. It plays Jesus Loves Me, and it is so cute. Uh, she got this at the Benz for 25 cents, and she sold this for 43.13 plus shipping. This is awesome. This is a vintage Volt sterling silver belt, braided horse ha hair, belt, Mexico women's belt. Okay, so she got this at the Goodwill Benz and her cost of goods was approximately 10 cents. And she took a best offer of 178.61 on this. How awesome. I just love this one. So I asked her to send me info on it. It's a vintage Miss Holly disco shirt from the 60s or the 70s made in Hong Kong. And here is the tag. She got this at a thrift store for $2.50 and sold it for $39.78. Look at those sleeves. How fun is that? All right. The next item comes from Restored Glory. And she deals more like in collectibles and glass and really has a lot of great information on her channel. So definitely go subscribe. Um, you will definitely learn from her channel. All right, Etsy. She sold this Cranberry Mary Gregory Westmoreland glass trinket jewelry box. It is signed. She got this for $6.99 at a thrift store and sold it for $58 on Etsy. She also sold this on Etsy. It is a vintage retro mid-century modern Lucite acrylic purse clear and glitter. Check this out. Now that is a fun little bolo, right? She got this at a flea market for $25 and sold it for $70 plus shipping on Etsy. Where Pigs Fly Farm. Okay. They are a non-profit animal rescue um, and all of their stuff uh, on their eBay store goes to their nonprofit. So definitely check out their eBay store. I will link it down below. They are doing what sold videos. They haven't put one out in a while, but it is summer, probably their busy season because they have like a petting area and um, it probably gets pretty crazy in the summer. So I'm expecting her to probably be putting out more videos uh, later this year. So definitely subscribe, show them some love with a sub. This is the eBay store. Again, it's a nonprofit. So all the funds go to help the animals. So if you see something you like, um, definitely uh, you can purchase that down with the link below. Um, also subscribe to the YouTube channel and watch some of their videos so they, they can get monetized and start using some of that money to help pay for like the vet bills and food and geez, I, I can't remember 500 animals right here. It says over 500 animals, just fantastic. So great, great, great nonprofit. Okay. She sold this spoon display case and this was given to them. It was donated and she took a best offer of $45 on that and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Kermit the Frog Jumbo 44 inch Muppets Jim Henson uh, frog. This was from a live auction. She paid $5 for it and she I think it was like a slow month, she said. So they went ahead and took a best offer of $35 on this guy. So somebody got a great deal. The next item is this Mustang horse head. And it is it has an extremely heavy or extremely heavy with a crack. Oh, right here up his face. Huh. He's still super cool, right? And this would be something um, that would be, you know, the, I'm, I think they have horses. I know. What's it? What was it? Uh, 
they got some interesting animals there. Check out some of her videos. Was it a camel? I can't remember now. I think it was a camel that, that she had in one of her videos. Um, but anyway, thrift store. She paid 40 bucks for this and ended up taking a best offer of $99. All right. The next one comes from Toledo Antique. And they are also into vin ah, vintage and collectibles. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> they do live shows on their channel. So if you're looking uh, to purchase things like collectible items, glassware, cool stuff, little trinkets and stuff like that, definitely check them out. And they also have a uh, brick and mortar store and they also do uh, consignment. So this item sold on consignment. So when they do that, they do a 50-50 split. This is a curio cabinet and the people picked it up from their store. So they sold it on eBay and then picked it up at their re at their store. $299.99 on that. So local pickup only. This one they actually shipped. What a nightmare to ship. I mean, how on earth do you protect those antlers? And oh my goodness, there is just no way. Um, they do shipping videos where they teach you how to ship items. So check out their channel for videos like that as well. But just crazy. This is a cuckoo clock. And uh, they sold this another consignment item and uh, they did not tell me what they ended up selling it for. I'm sorry, I did not get that. So they took a best offer, but I don't know what of. So I apologize. The next item is this uh, Native American Spearhead Arrowhead. And they got this at an antique mall. They paid 120 for it and sold it for 269. You know, this is something that I would walk right past because I would have no idea no clue, like how to market it, how to, how to make up a title, like just wow. So they did pay up for it. So they knew what they were buying. Anytime picker. All right. This is his YouTube channel. You can go and check him out. He hasn't put any content out recently, but sub him up. And if you hit that bell, that will alert you when he puts out a new video. And he sold this James Worthy Lakers uh, jersey. He got this at a Goodwill for $7.82 and he sold it for $99 plus shipping. The next item is, it just cracks me up. Precious moments. Like typically precious moments are bread and butter, but he has been doing really good with these. Um, this is a precious moments girls with a fun shine bear. Um, and he sold this for $79. He got it at the Goodwill for $5.60. and and he sold it, uh, the buyer paid shipping on this. So very cool. The next item is this Lancome. Oh, I closed it out. Sorry. Uh, you can back up. It, it is a wrinkle cream. I've done that twice tonight. Um, he got this at an estate sale for $5 and he sold it for $69 plus shipping. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe button and another video. I would love for you to check out another video. Um, in the comments, leave me an emoji of a owl. <laughs> like, hoo, hoo, an owl. <laughs> thank you guys so much. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.